cars and explosives. These are things that are obviously dangerous. But what about products that at first glance seem completely harmless, like hair care products, underwear and cooking oil? Just how dangerous are they, really? We're going to dress these mannequins with these underpants to find out just which is Britain's most dangerous. Okay, Brainiacs, get the kecks on. This is a pair of Grandad's 100% cotton Y-fronts. No self-respecting man under the age of 55 should be seen wearing anything like this. The second type is a pair of satin boxer shorts, normally found on a man who thinks he's as sexy as he was 10 years ago. This third pair is a pair of pure polyester briefs, for some appealing because they come in packs of six, but actually pack no sex appeal at all. And finally, the classic novelty underpants. The less said about these, the better, and yes, you know who you are. The way this experiment will work is by attaching this slow-burning ignition cord to the underpants. The cord will then be lit, and we'll see which pair is the first to go up in smoke. Okay, is everybody clear? Stand back. Three, two, one, ignition. Man-made fibres such as nylon and polyester are created from petroleum-based molecules. They tend to burn more easily than natural fibres, which is bad news for our monkey. The cotton is surviving well, and it's only the mannequin that is actually burned. It's much the same with the silk boxes. The polyester pants, however, have performed poorly. But our monkey and his nuts have been well and truly roasted. So there you have it. Britain's most dangerous pair of underpants is the monkey. And just remember, next time you're out shopping for briefs, the old barbecue rule. A burnt sausage is no good to anyone. Join us later in the show when we'll be finding out which is Britain's most dangerous hair care product and which is the most dangerous cooking oil. Earlier on in the show, we established that the monkey is Britain's most dangerous pair of pants. Ignition. Four pairs of underpants were wired up to ignition cord and set alight. Cotton and silk, the natural fibres, fared much better in the flames than our man-made fabrics. But it was the cheeky monkey who ultimately failed to handle the heat. Now we're going to determine which hair care product should strike fear into the hearts of consumers. We've kitted out these fine Brainiac mannequins with state-of-the-art mid-80s mullets, and to each mullet we'll be applying a different hair care product. This one, gel. This one, hairspray. And this one, mousse. Once the applications have been made, we will then be exposing the mullets to a naked flame to see just which product is Britain's most dangerous. Okay, everything's in place. Burn. treatment, the moose mullet now looks more like a mod. The mannequin with the gel shows no sign of damage at all, while the long flowing hairspray locks are now more matte than mullet. Well, the evidence is pretty conclusive. If you value your mullet, avoid hairspray. Later on in the show, we'll be finding out which cooking oil is Britain's most dangerous. Welcome back to the Brainiac testing site as we go in search of Britain's most dangerous. Already we've discovered using this ignition cord that these are Britain's most dangerous pants. And by using a flamethrower, we've discovered that hairspray is a lethal combination with a mullet. 
to find out which cooking oil is Britain's most dangerous. Every year in Britain, cooking oils cause an enormous amount of house fires, most often when people come home from the pub with the munchies and fancy a fry-up. We have three different types of cooking oil which we're placing in pots on these gas burners. We're going to turn up the heat and see what happens. The humble chip or fat pan causes more fires than any other method of cooking. The three oils we're testing are vegetable, olive and sunflower oil. Left unattended, the oil overheats. The first sign of it being too hot is smoke. If the temperature continues to increase, the vapour eventually bursts into flame. This can happen in a matter of minutes. So you can clearly see that sunflower oil is Britain's most dangerous cooking oil. It's reached flash point, which means that the gas coming off the oil is able to be ignited. Now one of the worst things you can do to put out this type of fire is to throw water on it. In fact, you could say that it's Britain's most dangerous way of extinguishing this type of fire. Water is bad because as soon as it hits the oil, it turns to sea, which expands. This also causes the vapour to expand. And because it's the vapour that burns, it becomes a massive fireball. So even though the sunflower oil bursts into flames first, all cooking oils should be treated with respect. Unlike novelty underpants, a mid-80s mullet.